In this video we're going to look at creating offline publications. Now there's two ways in which you might want to utilize the offline publication. First of all, if you want to create digital editions that not only sit on your website, but you want to distribute via CD, USB drive, uh, or other offline medias. So that's way, one way we'll look at. The next way is if you want your end readers to download an offline edition of your online version whilst they're viewing the online version. So perhaps they visited your website, they're looking at your digital edition, and you want them to be able to click on download to view this fully functional digital edition without the requirement of being online. So they both essentially build the same way and this is how we do it. So let's go into the software and it's all around the output tab. So you would have your publication ready to go when you're about to create this. So you would have added all your interactivity and your appearance in the design section. Then you come to the output so if you want to create online as well, you can check this box as well, but we're going to look at creating offline. So we'll select offline and then you have two options. So you can create a fully functional offline version or there's a simple PDF version. Now that this is for allowing your readers to, when they click on download, do you want them to just have a flat PDF? of the publication or do you want them to have the page flip digital edition. So we're going to select both and if you do that, if you have the PDF version you just need to tell the software which PDF you want them to be able to download. So just select the original PDF there and open. Now there's one more thing that you need to check before you go ahead and click build is in the design section, in the features list, if you want to be able your readers to be able to download the download, then you do need to have this checked here in features. So just select that. We've then create selected to create our offline edition. We're ready to build. So let's go ahead and click the build. This then looks at what versions we want it creating. So it's going ahead and doing the tablet, the online, and the mobile version because we had online checked and then it will go on to create our offline publication. So once it's built you'll see these options and you can view the fully functional digital edition by clicking view offline and you'll be able to see how your end readers would see the offline version. But let's just go and click on open folder here and this is opening our project folder so if you want to create a CD or USB drive with the offline version, this is the files you'd need. So click open folder. You then see a folder called offline. So just double click in here. And here you'll see these two folders. These two files, sorry. So these two you would copy on to your offline media. And then there's two because one's a Mac version and one's a Windows version. So copy those onto your offline media and distribute to your readers. And whatever, if they're on a Mac or a Windows machine, they'll be able to view your offline version. Now regarding what your online readers will see, if you allowed them to download an offline version from the online version, this is what they'd see. So let's just bring up our sample online. So from the features list, if you select a download, this option will be available. They click download and then they have two buttons, the Mac or the Windows, and then they can download their fully functional digital offline version without the need to be online. So that's how to create offline versions for both CD and for your end readers.